Is it time to buy or sell Amazon stock? In this video, we will explore Amazon in detail. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, the 10th of October, 2024. And now we are here to provide you with an even more in-depth analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay informed about our latest analyses. You certainly do not want to miss any important updates that could influence your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Leverage the power of artificial intelligence to receive free price predictions and comprehensive analysis for any one of 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Since the 8th of October, 2024, our system has ranked Amazon as a hold or accumulate, assigning it a score of negative 0.89. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has experienced natural fluctuations with a gain of 2.15%. This results in an average daily return of 0.72% since it was categorized as hold or accumulate. The stock currently rests in the midst of a broad and weak upward trend in the short term, indicating a likelihood of further increases within this trend. Over the next three months, the existing trend suggests a potential change of approximately 2.85%, with possible returns ranging from negative 9.08% to positive 7.44%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it indicates a projected change of about 32.84% over the coming year, with potential returns lying between 21.16% and 52.56%. This corresponds to a price range of $226.15 to $284.75 after one year. Our latest daily update for Amazon includes the headline, Amazon stock price ended at $186.65 on Thursday after gaining 0.799%. The Amazon stock price gained 0.799% on the last trading day, which was Thursday, the 10th of October, 2024, rising from $185.17 to $186.65. It has now gained for three consecutive days. It will be interesting to see whether it continues to gain or takes a slight pause in the coming days. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 1.24%, with a day low at $185.83 and a day high of $188.13. The price has decreased in six of the last 10 days and is down by 2.36% during this period. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign. In total, 2 million more shares were traded compared to the previous day, resulting in a total of 28 million shares being bought and sold for approximately $5.16 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $201.20, and the lowest price was $118.35. Currently, the price is 7.23%, or $14.55, below the 52-week high, and 85.70%, or $1,118.55, below the all-time high on the 15th of January, 2018, when the price reached $1,305.20. Amazon recently reported record-breaking results from its prime big deal days, which took place this week. This two-day shopping event emerged as the company's largest October shopping event, surpassing previous promotions in both sales and quantity of items sold. This surge in performance is particularly significant as it indicates strong consumer engagement and sets a positive tone ahead of the holiday season, which is critical for boosting Amazon's revenue. Moreover, Amazon's stock has shown a positive correlation with its sales performances, evidenced by recent gains in its share price 
following the announcement of these record sales. In the short term, this bullish trend may attract more investors, potentially driving the stock higher as the holiday season approaches. Additionally, Amazon is strategically investing in sports streaming to enhance its Prime membership appeal and boost advertising revenues. This diversification could foster long-term growth, especially if successful in attracting a broader audience. Such initiatives not only strengthen Amazon's market position, but also create new revenue streams. With its stock currently valued below the $2 trillion market cap, investors might find this a suitable time to invest, viewing it as an undervalued asset poised for significant long-term growth. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, the 10th of October, 2024, it was reported that Scotiabank assigned Amazon a rating of outperform with an initiate action. On Wednesday, the 9th of October, 2024, it was reported that Cantor, Cantor Fitzgerald rated Amazon as overweight with a hold action. On Monday, the 7th of October, 2024, it was reported that Wells Fargo gave Amazon a rating of equal weight with a downgrade action. On Thursday, the 3rd of October, 2024, it was reported that Wolf Research assigned Amazon a buy rating with a hold action. On Thursday, the 3rd of October, 2024, it was also reported that Wells Fargo rated Amazon as underperform with a hold action. Analysts have assigned Amazon stock a general neutral rating. They evaluate the price to earnings ratio as strong sell and the price to book ratio as strong sell. Regarding return on investment, the analysts provide the stock with a buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Amazon. The Amazon stock exhibits buy signals from both short-term and long-term moving averages, which suggests a positive outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal indicated by the relationship between these two averages, where the short-term average is positioned above the long-term average. During potential downward corrections, support can be expected at $184.08 and $182.69. If the price falls below either of these levels, it will trigger sell signals. Notably, volume is increasing alongside the price, which is considered a favorable technical indicator. However, some negative signals have also emerged, which could impact short-term developments. A sell signal was triggered from a pivot top point on Tuesday, September 24, 2024, and to date, the stock has decreased by 3.77%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Additionally, a sell signal is currently indicated from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, also known as MACD. Here are some additional signals you might find intriguing. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots show a sell signal from 13 days ago. Bollinger Bands suggested a buy signal 14 days ago. The short-term moving average provided a buy signal three days ago. Meanwhile, the long-term moving average indicated a sell signal five days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages signaled a buy 24 days ago. Observing the 12-month chart, we find the short moving average indicated a buy signal six days ago. The long-term moving average also suggested a buy signal three days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages pointed to a buy signal 11 days ago. For more signals, remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Amazon Amazon finds support from accumulated volume at $184.07. This level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction can be expected when this support is tested. The stock is typically traded at a strong volume, and with minor daily fluctuations, the risk is considered low. Over the last day, the stock experienced a movement of $2.30, representing a change of 1.24% between its high and low. For the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 1.71%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Amazon, let's briefly discuss some important fundamental data. 
First, we have the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the PE ratio. This vital metric compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. A high P.E. ratio may suggest that the stock is overvalued or that investors are anticipating significant growth in the future. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 24th of October, 2024. Analysts are projecting consensus estimates at $1.14. It's essential to monitor these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Amazon. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Amazon is at $187.93. If you do not own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a strategic point to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Amazon faces its first support level at $184.07. If this support level holds, it may present a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Amazon, drawn from various analyst sources, stands at a neutral position. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. On the first day of October in 2024, Harrington Douglas J executed an insider sale of 3,500 shares of common stock with a par value of one cent per share. On the 24th of September in 2024, Zapolsky David carried out an insider sale of 2,190 shares of common stock with a par value of one cent per share. On the 11th of September in 2024, Cooper Edith W. made an insider purchase of 6,126 shares of a restricted stock unit award. On the 3rd of September in 2024, Harrington Douglas J. again conducted an insider sale of 3,500 shares of common stock with a par value of one cent per share. On the 28th of August in 2024, Bezos Jeffrey P. executed an insider sale of 293,646 shares of common stock with a par value of one cent per share. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades reveals a negative insider power calculated at a ratio of negative 94.543. In total, insiders acquired 227,171 shares while selling 10,683,897 shares in these last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $177.76, reflecting a decline of 4.76%. This stock exhibits low daily movements, which translates to a lower risk. Additionally, there is a sell signal stemming from a pivot top identified 12 days ago. Is Amazon stock a good buy? Amazon presents several positive indicators, however, we still do not find these sufficient to classify it as a buy candidate. At its current position, it should be viewed as a hold candidate, meaning investors might consider holding or accumulating shares while awaiting further developments. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements from the previous trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, the 11th of October, we anticipate Amazon will open at approximately 22 cents higher, starting its trades at $186.87. We remind you that trading carries a significant risk of losing money. It is essential to consult with a financial advisor before engaging in the buying or selling of any securities. Your investment decisions should not rely solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? We invite you to comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day. With warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.